Good morning, everybody. Good to be here today. I want to thank the Lord for another privilege of getting to come, and uh, I hope that you're uh, up and getting ready to go to the Lord's house. And uh, uh, this hour didn't do me; it seemed like do me a bit of good. Uh, getting an extra hour, but uh, you do pray for us and pray the Lord to touch and help. And we're just thanking the Lord for His goodness today. And uh, we like to pray about. There's a lot of sickness out there this morning. I want you to keep remember. Uh, my neighbor there, uh, April, and she lost her husband there. And uh, uh, April, she was April Gorham. She married to Steve Thompson. So be much in prayer there for their loss and Larry and Janice and others that's lost their loved ones. There's many names up and down the road on the, the marquee signs there uh, out in front of the funeral homes. A lot of people that have left this world. I want you to pray, keep praying for the families there today. And then we want you to remember. Uh, Sheila texted me uh, last night and said, my cousin down in New Orleans, but uh, his wife is on hospice and it's not looking good. She's been battling cancer. So we'd like for you to pray for that family. I also want to remember a friend of mine, Stephen Bain, he's having a problem with kidney stones. They busted them up one kidney, got to go back and bust up the other kidney in a couple of weeks. I want you to keep praying for Joe and Sonia uh, and all their needs and uh, uh, James and Judy, they, uh, that we pray for them that things will get better and we can see them all in the Lord's house and Roger, keep praying for Roger uh, there and uh, uh, Kathy and also keep praying for Wanda and uh, uh, David and Joyce and there's a lot to pray about. And Linda's brother uh, Frank, want to keep praying for him and pray the Lord will touch there and all the needs and uh, just pray God will continue to touch Rosie and Wayne and others in our church that's sick. Melissa's mother, I want to pray for her Pray for our children, uh, praying for Charles. And uh, they did an operation on his lung and took out the cancer's part. And uh, we're praying that he's doing well, him and Linda, uh, today. So keep praying for them. Uh, Miss Carmen's sister, I uh, want to remember her uh, today. And uh, uh, Ms., uh, she asked us to remember her in prayer. So do pray for her and uh, her needs. And the Lord will touch that and help and uh, she's having a rough time. So we pray the Lord we touch and touch that family. And uh, there's others on our prayer chain. I want you to remember, uh, remember, uh, uh, I, I, I know her as the Lindsay girl, uh, Amber. Amber, and uh, I think they did uh, go back and close her up uh, from the operation. So we're still in ICU, so keep praying for her. A young man named Brian has had multiple strokes. Uh, another man named Donald, I want to keep praying for him. Uh, the Lord will touch that uh, had a reaction to medicine there. And uh, then we want to just keep lifting up uh, all the others out, out there. Miss Davis and her husband. And Johnny had his uh, surgery, was doing well. And I appreciate that Diane sending that out. And so we'll just keep praying for Johnny and Diane. And Charlotte, we'll, we'll send it to you and pray for you. That the Lord will touch you and your family also today. All right, uh, if you're lost, you're a special guest. And let us pray with you and pray for you. So you pray with us this morning as we try to get started. There'll be others I'm sure that'll come to my mind, but right now we just uh, it's just not there, but let's pray. Father, I thank you that you allowed us this time to come. Uh, we're honored to get to come back again, God, to stand before the pulpit, to reach out to an unseen audience. And God, we don't know a single need that's out there today. But God, there's not one that you don't know. And God, there is no distance that you can't cover. God, there's no word that you're not at. Your presence is everywhere. And we ask you, God, to move in the hospitals, the homes, the rest homes, wherever the hearts might be, wherever these pain and hurt is, that you might bring, uh, God, comfort to them and take away this pain. And God, I pray for that one that's out. I nearest eternity that's lost, that you might speak to their heart again, that they might be saved. We ask you, God, just to reach down now and touch. We're thankful for all you have done, all you're going to do. Bless the outreach of the church. And God, we again, we ask that we might see great and mighty things happen. Comfort for all the death has come. Touch our men and women standing in harm's way. Touch God, we pray, and what's going on in this nation, this election, and all these things, God. And Israel, we just bring all this to you, God. And we ask for your help and your direction in all things. We love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we send it out 
to Charles and Lynn. Again, like I say, hope y'all are doing well. And the brother Clyde this morning and Sister Ingram, also the Sister Carmen and Sister Loggins and uh, Sister Bobby uh, Brown, she, she needs our prayer. She's uh, been having a rough time. And so we're going to send it to Bobby and Sister Mary Ann we needs our prayer. She lost her daughter, Cynthia, and we want you to be much in prayer for her and, and also for the family there. And then we want to send it out today to uh, 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 Randy and Madonna and Malcolm and Ann and also David and Tanya and Sarah Grace. And we want to send it today to all uh, the folks in our church also. Uh, I'm sure that are, are watching. We'll send it to Joe and Sonia and uh, to uh, uh, well, Faith and Jean, if y'all get to watch, and, and uh, also uh, Donna, if you're getting to watch today, Lloyd and Nancy and Ron and David and Joyce, and uh, if they're getting to watch, and also Melinda, and uh, we appreciate all of you today, and uh, Kenneth and Ashley and the children, and uh, Kathy and uh, Aaron and the family there, and also want to send it out to. Uh, uh, to Melissa, if she's getting watch, and her mother, and uh, Rosie, and Wayne, and we appreciate all of you out there today, and uh, others in our church, I'm sure I'm missing you, uh, but I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart uh, today, and I want to send it to Johnny Stevens and his wife and, uh, today, and uh, also uh, to Johnny and Dee uh, Holder, and I uh, hope the Lord's blessing y'all, and Julian and Mr. Parker. We appreciate you today, and may the Lord bless you as our prayer. Send it to Connie and our family, and Peggy and the family, Buck's wife and children, grandchildren, Sheila, and all the folks over there in the Dalton area, and the family there, and also to Doris and Aunt Eileen, and uh, to uh, Judy and Roger and Coley, and they're getting to listen today, Tracy, Lynn, and, and Alyssa, and Jennifer, and Chris, and Ada, and any other of my family that might be listening in, we do appreciate you all. May God bless you as our prayer. We will try this whole song. I'm going to back it to D today. Wayne and Sonia Tidmore, I hope y'all are doing well today. May God bless y'all. George, if you're listening in, George Baker, we send it out to you. Miss Ledford, if you're listening in today, may God bless you today. People said I'd never make it. I'd never see it through. They don't know what keeps me going. Yes, they never have met you. Lord, I never let 
Keith and Rosie Chapman and Miss Cook and to David Woody and to Calvin there and to uh, uh, Miss Potter, you're on there. Good morning to you too. And we send out to you and uh, Miss uh, uh, Miss Scoggins, Diane Scoggins and Charlotte and JD and Ellen and to uh, Mary Davis and her husband Gene and to her sister Diane and to her husband John and to her brother JB and to, to Benny and to Danny and Man, if you're watching it, watch it or watch it later, send to you and Lisa Martinez and who does she know? And, uh, and uh, just whoever else is out there uh, watching, we send it out. I love you, Doris and Adeline, like they said. Uh, and my wife and kids, everybody that's watching. Jay said, I also remember Erica said she's been up all night with a bad headache and feeling very anxious. Uh, so, um, I think there's something going around that gives you a headache and there's a fever uh, that's associated with the, uh, some kind of virus that's going around. Uh, Seems like there's a lot of people sick, so just be praying for them. Uh, I
this world. But he makes the world
and uh, uh, out to Miss Karen Howard if she's getting to listen in this morning. May God bless you today. And uh, if by chance Kim Moses, if you're listening, we send it to you and your family. And you pray for Joseph now as he comes back, and I know it'll be a blessing to you. Amen. So thank you for watching. I'd also like to send this out to uh, Shannon. He's getting to watch this morning. Amen. Uh, anybody else? Uh, I'm not trying to forget anybody. I feel like I am forgetting somebody, but I can't pull it up right now. I'm in thought process, and I apologize for that. Uh, well, I thought that song was right here in this book, and it might not be. So give me just a second. I won't take a lot of time looking for it. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess it ain't. All right. We'll just jump up back over here and do one of these things. Uh,
stay up every day. I'm a little bit closer home. You know, uh, whether y'all believe it or not, that day's coming. Uh, why don't we uh, do this and it's speeding things up a little bit. I also sent it out to Shelly this morning. If you listen or Barbara and them's listening up there, we send it out to them too. Well, first I'll hear the trumpet sound. The old saints be hands down. And we cross the floor of life. Talking to you the other side. That I'll see you from the hills. And my love makes me just feel. I'll be the first to go in the line. I'll see my life in the line. And my gold of the wine. I will fly away to that land. So back me my Jesus. God saves old sinners. I'm sure glad he does because if God didn't save old sinners, I sure wouldn't be here today. I don't know about you. The drunk on the street The rich in the pile of sin The poor and the blur And the man of the creed They all have Glad of that 
today. He saves old sinners. I'm glad he saved one like me. And if you're saved, he saved one like you out there today. Amen. I, I couldn't save myself and neither can you. But I'm glad, a friend of mine, that uh, God has, has touched and, and helped us all out there today. Amen. Well, let's do this song. This is a song. Joanna likes this song. There's some call it heaven. And I, I hope that you like it out there today. And uh, uh, I haven't done five songs this morning. I actually hadn't done real five songs in the last week or so. But uh, we, we just want to do our best for the Lord. So you pray for me. Somewhere beyond the grave, there is a land. These are twin to prepare with this own and for the sake of my grave. Today we have uh, we have spoke about uh, this before, but we have not preached this message. And uh, I think it's very important that we understand some things this morning. If I can get everything out, John chapter one today, Amen. And uh, we're going to read the first three verses, 
And uh, I hope that you'll open your Bible and read along with us today. We're not ashamed of the Bible. We're not ashamed of the Word of God. I'm not ashamed of this Bible I'm using. Amen. Uh, I used to, uh, the same Bible I got saved by, the same word that was preached to me right out straight out of this old King James Version Bible. And a lot of people today are trying to table it and go on for all this modern stuff, but uh, I'm not. I'm just... Uh, I'm just going to stick with what's, what's real to me, and I hope that you'll uh, do the same. The Bible says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day that you have given us, God, for this time that's been allotted to us, and God, if we come again to stand before an unseen audience. And God, we ask that you might take thy word, and I know you will, and send it forth, God, and let it accomplish all the things that you would have it to. It will never return for it if it's sent out in the power and the demonstration of your spirit. And God, we're praying that hearts might be touched, that lives might be changed, souls might be saved, and God, your people might find a uh, God wisdom amongst their confusion, strength among their weakness, God that we might lift your name up, and then by doing so, that we might be exalted, that we might stand in our faith and just be all that you'd have us to be. Father, I do pray for the lost. I do pray for the sick. I do pray for comfort to the bereaved. I do pray for a nation, God. Lord, is running headlong into hell. I do pray that our eyes would be open today and our heart, God, would uh, open up to thy precious word. And God, whatever's accomplished here this morning, I give you the praise and the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I, I, I don't know how fast we might preach this because, uh, but who knows, it's whatever God wants today. But I want to talk to you about the preexistent Christ. Uh, I want to try to bring to your attention today the truth concerning this man called Jesus. Uh, a truth today that so many people uh, I do not understand or have not the knowledge of or otherwise they're living their lives like they don't. But I, I want to talk to you about him. You know, it's hard to believe for some of you, I guess. But there are people out there today that's heard the name of Jesus all their life. But still, they do not know him for who he is. How sad that we live in a nation today that has had the opportunity of so many open doors of the house of God. That's had an opportunity to go and hear the word and and by means of, uh, of not only the church, but by radio and uh, television. And yet I, I realize there's people that strayed away from the word. I realize that there are people out there not preaching the truth. But a friend of mine, we have seen this dramatic change in the latter years. But there was a time when, when I would say, friend of mine, uh, the greater portion of the preachers was standing on the word of God. There was a time when churches could get together, friend of mine, even though they had doctrinal, doctrinal differences, they could come together and worship because they believed in the same God. And, and friend of mine, and studied out of the same Bible. But we're not living in those times today. But it is hard to believe that people have uh, heard this all their lives and still they don't know who Jesus is. And I, I want you to understand some things today. Uh, John gives them to us a clarity that uh, none of the other writer gives. I want you to understand that. In the beginning, he said, was the Word. In the beginning. That's important today. Why? Because it speaks of the Lord's preexistence. Before there was a heaven or an earth, before the worlds were made, before the galaxies formed, before the billions of stars were uh, carefully placed by design on the blanket of space, before there was a sun, before there was a moon, before there was any other planet that we know of, Christ has always been. Can you understand that? Friend of mine, Christ has always been. The creation of this world didn't make Christ who he is. The creation of this world, friend of mine, I didn't put him in a higher position. Friend of mine, he has never changed. He's always been uh, who he is and uh, always will be. You understand the word of God says uh, the word was with God and the word was God. This man called Jesus, our Lord and Redeemer, uh, is God. And I'll say it again. He 
always has been and always will be. We find in this holy book we call the Bible a, a triune God, meaning uh, there's three in one. We call them the Trinity, amen? Uh, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Three distinct persons with uh, the essence of God, each one working together in unity uh, and perfect accord. They, they, uh, they all work together, friend of mine, uh, in unity and perfect accord. Concerning the word, uh, uh, verse 3 says that all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. And Psalms 24 and 1 says that uh, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, uh, uh, the world and they that dwell in them. Uh, and then Colossians uh, uh, 1 and 16 says, uh, for by him were all things created, uh, that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, uh, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, uh, all things were created by him and for him. Did you get that? Uh, uh, nothing or uh, no one uh, can the mind hold power over him. Uh, he has the power to bring things into existence. He has the power uh, to destroy these things at his own will. Even you and me today. Friend of mine, we're not our own today. We're not. Uh, uh, we're created creatures. Uh, uh, friend of mine, we belong to the Lord. Uh, uh, we're not all obedient. Sometimes we're disobedient. We're not all honorable uh, vessels. Sometimes uh, dishonorable. Uh, everybody's not going to heaven. Everybody's not not saved, the Lord come today, how they'd be a great uh, people that left behind. Uh, well, that's not God's fault. Don't you understand that? Uh, let me get back into this. Genesis 1 and 1. Uh, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Uh, you know, what does this mean? Grace should bring to mind uh, uh, marks the absolute beginning of the temporal and material world. How uh, uh, these things are going to pass. Did you know that? Uh, uh, verse 2 said, the, or the earth was without form and void, uh, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Uh, uh, but God had a plan. Uh, always had a plan for into mind, uh, uh, he would mow this mass, uh, uh, this mass that was without form and void, uh, unformed without life, and he would make it uh, uh, into this place that we call earth, uh, and its inhabitants today, amen. Uh, uh, the Spirit of God, the Bible said, moved upon the face of the water. Uh, uh, one writer wrote, uh, uh, the Spirit moving was, a uh, uh, friend of mine, uh, was moving with like brooding over the waters, much like a bird uh, uh, broods over its eggs to hatch them. Uh, well, what did he mean by that? Uh, amen. Everything was in place. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, uh, all knowing what was going to happen, and He's ready to bring uh, it into the system. Uh, uh, God said the word created. The Holy Spirit moved. Uh, uh, friend, uh, uh, that, that, therefore it is. Uh, uh, they were all involved. God spoke. Uh, uh, this God, Jesus Christ created. The Holy Spirit moved. Uh, and therefore we have uh, uh, what we have here today. Amen. It's important that our hearts have a clear understanding understanding of uh, uh, the pre-existent Christ. Uh, uh, to know this friend of mine will enlighten us uh, uh, to the wonder of uh, uh, working of God in his incarnation. Now uh, uh, we got to start at the beginning. We got to have an understanding of, uh, of who he is and how much God he is. Uh, uh, friend, he's all God. Did you understand that today? Uh, uh, there are those that teach that Jesus was created. Uh, uh, that's not true. I just read to you. Uh, he wasn't created. He done the creating. Uh, he didn't create himself. A uh, uh, friend of mine he always has been. Uh, uh, that babe born in Bethlehem I uh, uh, was not the beginning of Christ. Uh, it was his in incarnation uh, uh, when he took on the body of flesh and blood uh, for the sole purpose of redeeming a uh, uh, lost mankind. A uh, uh, man had fallen from God's grace. A uh, uh, fellowship had been broken. Communion uh, uh, dismissed. Uh, and there was a separation between God and man. Uh, and because personal sin had been brought uh, uh, had found its way into the world uh, and the hearts of mankind uh, had sinned against God uh, and that's very important why uh, uh, because when you get the truth settled in your heart uh, it causes the devil much distress did you know that uh, uh, the truth friend of mine creates a spiritual perimeter uh, a perimeter that resists the deceit and destructive attack uh, uh, that's brought forth by the devil and his followers you got to know the truth uh, uh, the Bible says the truth will set you free uh, 
If you're still bound in these shackles of sin, of doubt, and discouragement, I, I come to the knowledge of the truth. And the truth will set you free, amen. Now, before there was a birth in Bethlehem, Jesus was. He sat upon his throne alongside God the Father. He was God then. He was God when he came into this world. He was God when he left it. And he's still God today, alive and well. Having something to offer that nobody else can offer. Nobody has been able to offer and ever will be. And it's a divine plan. A plan that was foreordained before the foundation of the world. You understand God didn't just sit around wringing his hand. He didn't prance up around all over heaven. Now when the devil was successful in the garden of Eden, it wasn't no surprise to him. Your friend of mine, God already knew a man was going to fail. Why? It was a foreordained plan. This plan of salvation. It was foreordained that Jesus would come in this world. It was foreordained that he shed his blood on a cruel old tree. I've been to find and suffer the crucifixion. You understand? God knew the snake that entered the garden. God knows both of them. Do you understand that? Yes, there was two snakes there in the garden. There was a physical snake having the cunning characteristics it was created with. And then there was the snake in the grass. That snake we call the devil. Do you understand that? But God knew him. And all of his tactics in the seed as he tempted mankind in a way that appealed to their flesh. How that their eyes were blinded to the trap. How they were walking into. Do you understand? Sin was born into the world by disobedience. A separation came between God and man. The relationship was interrupted. And it will remain that way until Jesus was incarnated in the flesh. Coming in the world through a babe in Bethlehem. Yet became a sacrificial lamb on Galgotha's hill. Those little hands that held on to Mary. Those little hands that held on to Joseph. Would one day have nails nailed through them as he hung there on the cross. A friend of mine for the hope of all mankind. The pre existent Christ who was before the dawning of this world as we know it. I made a choice before before there was a man. Before there was a woman. A friend of mine that when they failed the tail, when they yielded in a moment of weakness, when they were overtaken by the lies of the devil, that they would not see the truth. That he would come. It was foreordained that he would come. That he would pay the sin I created in the hearts of mankind. A death that he didn't know. That he might shed his blood for our remission today. Thank God for the pre-existent Christ. He didn't evolve. A friend of mine, he didn't have to evolve. He always has been and always will be. I'm serving the living Savior. He's not laying over there in the tomb. That tomb is empty. And because he lives, I have the hope of resurrection. And I'll live also today. I want you to understand something about him. I pray he was pre-existent. Everything today that you've been teaching other than that, it's just not true. According to garbage can, go back to the Bible. Pick up the word. Pick up the truth. Come to know Jesus. I for who he is. My time is gone. I ain't got done, but I guess I'm done out. Now may God bless you today. Think about this man called Jesus. Think about what he's done to set your soul free. How to break you out of prison. How to escape the damnations of hell. Think about him. Call upon his name. Ask him to save you. It'll be the best day of your life if you'll get saved. Amen. Thank you for listening today.